The Fred Jackson Show on WBBZ TV. Sponsored by Buffalo Wine and Brew, Transit Road Depew, Brew Beer, Make Wine. The Buffalo Roadhouse Grill, Niagara Falls Boulevard near the 290, where the Buffalonians roam. Duville College, educating for life. On the Rocks Liquor, Discount Liquors, Bailey Avenue, Buffalo. And Reimer Heating and Air Conditioning, with the Wizard of Comfort and your hometown comfort professionals. WBBZ-TV studio at the Eastern Hills Mall. It's time for the Fred Jackson Show with running back Fred Jackson and co-host Bob Kuczynski. And good evening. Welcome to the Fred Jackson Show. And... Everybody's clapping, I guess, because I'm here tonight, I guess. I don't think so. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you, the star of tonight's show, Mr. Fred Jackson. <laughs> and there's a buzz in the audience tonight because our special guest tonight, none other than Hall of Fame quarterback, Mr. Jim Kelly. <laughs> and he's with us every week, Jim's good buddy from 97 Rock, DJ Dave Jixter is in the house. And the master of the Twitterverse, Mr. Brad Gelber, will be taking your questions online. So it's a, it's a big night. We've got a lot of excitement in the crowd. But, you know, uh, you had a very tough game yesterday in Denver, mile high, uh, against Peyton Manning and the Broncos. The final score gave the indication it was a close game. But it really not until the late in the fourth quarter were you guys able to close the gap. Offensively, what was the issue yesterday, Fred, with the team? Uh, Self-inflicted wounds. Uh, I think one of the biggest things is obviously is turnovers. Uh, we turn the ball over too much. Uh, it's something that we can't do uh, with the two interceptions, the fumble. Uh, we've got to have better ball security, especially when you're playing a team like the Broncos, who's, you know, they're not going to do so. You know, uh, and then you got to deal with penalties. Penalties is something that you can't have again when you're playing a good team. And uh, it's hard to beat anybody when you have, you know, self-inflicted wounds such as turnovers and penalties. You know, speaking of penalties, and that has been on the topic of so many bills uh, today, their talk on the radio and whatnot, I mean, there were some penalties that were just not smart penalties, and there were some penalties that were, in my opinion, very questionable penalties. Yeah, um, and again, you can't have either. Uh, the ones where, we're, I mean, we're just not smart and making dumb, you know, mistakes is something that you have to you know to, to get to where you want to be and be successful in the league you can't have them and um, you know that's something that we talked about today in the locker room um, and then you know it, it's hard to overcome them uh, but you know refs are human too and they're going to make human errors and uh, you're going to have to just try and deal with it uh, unfortunately it, it, it's something that happens to us a lot I would say uh, but it, it's something that we have to be able to get over and move on. And some certain players, in fact, Aaron Williams, who I know is a good friend of yours on the team, very vocal after the game. That, that shows that the frustration level is pretty high. Yeah, I mean, anybody's frustrated. You know, when you have calls that, that can affect the outcome of a game, it's definitely something that affects you. And, you know, I, I try to keep all that stuff to myself and not go to Twitter with it. Um, but, you know, I think everybody in the locker room was feeling the same way. Uh, but we just have to be able to deal with it and move on. The Broncos, uh, many people thought you were a 10-point underdog. Many people thought this may be your toughest game of the year. Uh, you know, as you said, except for a couple turnovers, you were right there with this team. Peyton Manning did not have a typical Peyton Manning game, and the defense was able to slow them down enough. Had you just scored a few points early, it would, could have been a different outcome. Yeah, our defense showed up and played well, you know, like they always do, creating havoc, you know, putting that guy under pressure, you know, creating turnovers. Um, and as an offensive unit, we didn't show up as well as we needed to. And uh, that was the difference in the game. Uh, and we know that as an offense, that's something that we, we show 
older and uh, something that we know we got to get better at. You know, to be able to beat top-notch teams like that, you know, uh, playoff caliber teams, we have to be able to show up as an offensive unit. And uh, we didn't get that job, that job done yesterday, and it, it was the reason we lost the game. Certainly doesn't get any easier. You will be home, but now the Green Bay Packers and Aaron Rodgers come in. That's going to be another very, very tough game. It will be. You know, uh, th those guys are known for putting up points, too. Um, we expect our defense to continue to do the things that they're doing, and it's on us. It's about the, the will and the want to get done now. You know, uh, to, to get to the playoffs, we have to win these last three games, and we have a tough uh, opponent coming in here, and, you know, we have to be able to go out and put up some points. You know, fans point out and reporters point out some of the deficiencies, some of the things that are going wrong, but we talked before the show. You think it all starts with the lack of ability of the running game to get established. You think that's a big difference with this team this year? Without a doubt. You know, last year we were second in the league, you know, running the ball. And this year, I can't even tell you where we are. Uh, but I can tell you we're, we're towards the bottom of the league. And uh, anytime you make a team one-dimensional like that and we're not getting the job done as, a, as, as running backs and as an offensive line, um, we, we got to, you know, take that to, to heart and go out and get some things turned around. So you think regardless who the starting quarterback is, this team has to be able to run the football? Without a doubt. If we don't run the ball, you know, if you're not, you're not going to make the job easy for anybody who's at the quarterback position. And um, they're taking a lot of heat, but we can take a lot of that pressure off of them. Uh, speaking of the running game, any progress with C.J. Spiller? He took some reps last week. He did. I, I heard he's supposed to practice this week. Um, I think that's a good indication that he'll be ready to come back soon. You know, and uh, I think all looks well or looks good for him to be back in Oakland, and that's definitely a weapon that we can use. Okay. We're going to take a break. When we come back, quarterback Jim Kelly will be our guest on the Fred Jackson Show right after this.